I'll be demonstrating the German short row heel. It's a fabulous heel that uses no wraps. So there's a little bit of magic in something called a double stitch, which we'll get to in a little bit. I have a toe up practice sock here with just a few stitches, which might be a good idea if this is your first time trying the technique. So to begin, we're going to knit across our instep stitches in pattern. As you can see, I am working the magic loop, but you can also do this on double points or on two cirques. And this is a toe up sock, but this heel is reversible. So you could also work it on a cuff down sock. I kind of like this heel because it does add a few extra rounds to the heel, giving a, a little more depth to a short row heel. So I've worked across the instep. Now I'm going to get to the second half of the stitches, which are my going to be my heel stitches. Now here on the heel, I'm going to pay attention to how many stitches are going to remain unworked. So in this little sample, I am going to leave the center three stitches unworked. Every pattern will tell you how many wraps to have or how many stitches to leave unworked. And that's uh, the same for this heel. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to knit to the center stitches. So in this tiny example, it's just four stitches. And then I'm going to place a marker and then I'm going to knit the center stitches. I'm just going to have three in this example. And then I'm going to place a second marker. As you can see, they're removable markers as we're going to take them out later. And now I'm going to knit to the end of the heel. So unlike traditional short row heels where you work a wrap at the end, we are going to knit all of the heel stitches. Once I have knit across placing my markers, I will turn my work to the wrong side and we are no longer going to be working in the round. So here's where we are going to do our first double stitch. Double stitches are worked the same on either side of the work. What we do is with yarn in front, so you can see I put my needle under there. We are going to slip as if to purl. And then here's how we make the double stitch. We're gonna take our working yarn and we're going to pull it up. Give it a nice tug so you can see that I have two stitches. It looks like two stitches on my left hand needle. Now keeping that kind of firm here because that's in that gap between the instep and the heel. We want to make sure that's kind of nice and tight so we don't get any holes. And then I'm going to move the yarn back to the correct position. For this side, it would be the purl. So then I'm going to go ahead and purl to the end of the heel. And we'll just go ahead and ignore those markers as we work our way across. and almost to the end. So just like I did on the first row, on the second row, I'm gonna purl all the way to the end, turn, and now I'm going to make a double stitch on the right side of the fabric. So to make a double stitch, we slip with yarn in front. So my yarn is in front, I'm gonna slip as if to purl and then I'm going to take that yarn and I'm going to give it a nice tug. This double stitch looks a little bit different on this side, a little bit twisted, but it still appears as if there are two stitches on that right hand needle. So give that a good tug. Now the thing that's a little odd on this side is on, we are tugging that yarn and the working yarn is in the knit position. So keep a nice firm hand on it. And now for this third row, we're going to after making that double stitch, we are going to knit across until we get to the double stitch from the last row. Those of you familiar with short rows, you'll see, ah, we're moving our way toward the center. So we'll knit to the double stitch from the last one. And why I love this technique, it's very obvious. There's the double stitch from our first row. So I will knit the stitch before it, turn, 
And then for the third row, we're going to make our double stitch. So we slip as if to purl with yarn in front, tugging that working yarn over so we get those two stitches. Move that working yarn to the purl position. And now I'm going to purl to the double stitch that I made on the last row. Here is the double stitch that I made in the last row. Sorry, I've got a little yarn split. That really is one stitch. I'm going to go ahead and purl that. Turn. So I was a double stitch from the last one. Turn. And now I'm going to make my double stitch. Bring the working yarn to the front. Slip as if to purl. Give that a nice tug so that stitch comes over the top of the needle and then go ahead and knit. So we're gonna keep repeating those last two rows, knitting or purling to the double stitch made on the following, on the previous row, and then we will turn and make a double stitch. So here I've knit across, there's my double stitch from the last row, so I will knit the stitch right before it, turn, Slip as if to purl with yarn in front. Give that yarn a pull so we get the double stitch or the two stitches here. Return the yarn to the purl position. Now I'm going to purl to the double stitch from the last row. Here's the double stitch in the last row. So I've got a purl stitch next to it, turn. On the right side, we move our yarn to the front, slip as if to purl, move that working yarn so that we get two stitches on the needle. Yarn is in the knit position, so I'm going to knit. Here is the stitch before the last double stitch I made. I'm going to knit that, turn. I'm going to slip as if to purl with the yarn in front, tug on it to make my double stitch. Now you can see I have double stitches all on this side of this marker. So I'm going to go ahead and purl. Here is, I have three double stitches here. Here's the stitch before that double stitch. I will purl it, turn, and as you can see, I've got double stitches on this side, all double stitches here. Get that little sock out of the way. If I've got double stitches on this side of the marker, three here, so my last step for this part is to make this last stitch to the right of this first marker, a double stitch. So I'll bring my working yarn to the front, slip as if to purl, make the double stitch, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I will knit across my center stitches. Once I get past the center stitches, slip that marker, marker and I've got all double wraps to the left of this. So here's where we are going to take our right hand needle and we're going to treat this double stitch. And we don't want to go above that kind of looks like a pearl bump. We want to kind of go under it. And we're going to knit all of the double stitches together or as one, almost as if it were a knit two together. And we're going to knit those all the way across. till we get to the end of this side of the heel. So now all of those double stitches are gone. And now here's where we're going to return to circular knitting and we're going to work across the instep in pattern. So I have a little bit of break from the heel. Get my stitches up here. 
and work across the instep. I just have a very simple one, but what's very nice is you can keep that pattern going right up the front of the sock, all the way up the leg or down the foot, depending which direction you're going. You can probably guess what's coming next. We knit the double stitches together on the left hand side of the heel. So now getting our sock all ready, we're going to now have to knit the double stitches to the right on the right hand side or to the right of that first marker. So go ahead and same thing, take treating each of these as almost like a knit two together. So go ahead and knit all of the double stitches together. And it's always a good idea to kind of knit that first one rather firmly so that we don't have any gaps in our heel. Give it a nice tug. Go ahead and knit all of these together. And once all the double stitches are knit on this right hand side of the heel, we're going to then continue to knit across the heel. So we've gone all the way across the heel and the last part of the I call it the first half of the heel, is we're going to knit across the instep one more time. So as you can see, we get to sneak in a couple extra rounds in here. So let's just knit across the instep stitches. And then we'll get back to the heel. So for the second part of the heel, we're going to knit the stitches to the right of the first marker across the center stitches to the second marker. So we have right side facing here. So I'm going to go ahead and, as I said, knit across, working my way past the center stitches. So this formula will work, of course, on any number of stitches. So I'll slip that first marker, knit across the center stitches. When I get to my second marker, I'm going to slip that marker, knit one, and then turn. So with the wrong side facing, I'm going to make my double stitch. So slip as if to purl with yarn in front, Pull that stitch over, return the working yarn to the purl position. And now I'm going to go ahead and purl across the center stitches. Slip the marker, purl one, and then I will turn. Now at this point we can remove the markers and I'm just going to take them out as I get to them because um, now we can use our double stitches kind of as a marker. So um, on the, with the right side facing, I'll make a double stitch on this side. So slip with the yarn in front, pull that strand over to make our double stitch and then I'll let that marker go off. I will knit across and I'm knitting across until I get to the double stitch that I made on the last row. So I can remove that marker. And here's the double stitch I made on the last marker, uh, on the last row. So what I will do here is I'm going to knit this double stitch, treating it as one stitch like we did before, and knit one more. Turn. So with the wrong side facing, I will make a double stitch and then I'm going to purl to the mark, I'm sorry, I keep saying marker, purl to the double stitch we made on the previous row 
And that's what I love this. It's so obvious. There it is. Pearl to that double stitch. Now this time I will, the wrong side, I'll just purl that double stitch kind of together. Pearl one more and turn. So those of you short row veterans can see we're working out one more stitch each time. So when I turn, I will go ahead and make a double stitch. And then I have to keep a nice tension on that. Go ahead and knit to the double stitch of the previous row. There it is. And then I'm gonna knit that together. Knit one more. Turn, make a double stitch, purl to the double stitch I made in the last row. There it is. I'm going to purl that double stitch together, purl one more. Turn, make my double stitch. So remember with yarn in front, it's always easy to forget that on that right side. Lift that up to get my two stitches. Double stitch. You can see the little baby heel here starting to take shape. I'm going to knit to the double stitch that I made on the last row. I'm going to knit that double stitch together. Knit one more, turn, make a double stitch. You can see this is the last double stitch I'll be making on this end. Purl to the last, to the double stitch I made on the last row. There it is. I'm going to purl that together. I'm kind of getting under those two legs there. Purl that together. Purl one more. So when I turn back to the right side, this is the last stitch that I need to make it into a double stitch. So with yarn in front, it's the last heel stitch on this side. So I'm going to make my double stitch. And now I'm going to go ahead and knit to the end of this heel because I don't have any more, the double stitch is going to be my last stitch here, the last heel stitch. So the last heel stitch here is doubled, so I'm going to go ahead and knit that together. But once I do that, I'm not going to turn. I'm gonna to return to circular knitting, go back to those instep stitches that have been patiently waiting and I'm going to work across there. And I've got my stitches on here rather snugly, so sorry about that, trying to get those up there. Working across in pattern. And I like to give a nice little tug to this first stitch to close up any gaps that we could get there. For those of you keeping track, this is the fourth time we have worked across the instep stitches. In the heel. So when I turn back to the heel for the last time, I have one double stitch waiting for me on this right hand side of the heel. That's this guy right there. I'm going to knit it together. And again, kind of firmly in these corners, it's always important to keep everything nice and tight there. And then all I have to do is knit across the heel stitches and our German short row heel will be complete. There you can see we've got a really nice little heel 
where the stitches just kind of flow, uh, no wraps to pick up. And that's the German short row heel. Happy knitting.